all praises to the Most High. Hallelujah. Giving Him honor and glory. Family, I pray all is well with each one of you. Greetings, greetings, greetings. So family, I just wanted to touch base on this. Um, I was looking at this last night and I know it's getting close to uh, the timeline where they're supposed to disclose more information, whether it's less, but make it seem like it's more. And just want to give you a little bit what I've um, had a chance to review over these uh, past months, um, which I believe that um, anything that they want wants to run away from, it's more likely you run towards it. Um, because we don't know, because we were always told of the unknown, um, we must understand that the Most High is in complete control. Whether an entity or whatever they are putting forth out there is evil or good, the Most High controls it. I believe that being in the hands of the Most High, trusting and um, seeking His face, and, you know, striving and, you know, definitely being in the right path, which isn't judgment, but in the right path um, of righteousness, aiming and striving and uh, repenting and crying out for mercy that the Most High will cover us. Hallelujah. Even if this is evil, but too many fingers point back to what when they bring forth, you know, unidentified objects and what's surrounding that are aerial phenomenon, you know, what not, whatever they want to call it. It points back to us as descendants of slaves are the slaves. Um, so I'm just going to touch bases on some areas because a lot of our people, again, um, which I see in um, from time to time, that we, you know, have been taught to get all worked up about certain things. But even if, say, I'm wrong, but I can't be wrong about if we are in the hands of the Most High and we trust in the Most High and believing that He's in complete control, that we will be covered, even if it's evilness out there that the Most High allowed to be on the earth and He doesn't have control over, which that sounds crazy in itself. But that's what these people want us to believe, that the Almighty, the Most High, who have revealed so many things to me, for me to know that he's real, want us to believe that there is an entity out there that just doing whatever it wants to do without the Most High knowing or the Most High being in control. So I'm just going to touch bases on some articles here. It says, this coming from the New York Times, COVID-19 bill started a 180-day countdown for UFO disclosures, disclosures. So, family, the question should be why. Why would Trump pass a COVID-19 bill but place in that COVID-19 bill to have more information to be released or declassify information about the UFOs in a bill that I truly believe what is surrounding about COVID-19 that is a plague that is upon the earth that the most I have allowed and in that plague bill Trump release where you know, they have like, we'll say 180 days, which right now in this week will come to that. I want to say around December the 20, well, I'm sorry, December 2020, and I'm not sure what date, date, but it may say in here, um, and it ends a close out on, D, on uh, what, June the 24th of 2021. So that was like 180 days, they said. I'm just going to read a little bit. So we see this came out on December the 29th, 2020. So it had to have been before that, right? It says President Trump's signature Sunday 
on the 2.3 trillion COVID-19 relief in government funding bill started a 180 day countdown for countdown for the Pentagon and spy agencies to say what they know about UFOs. So family, you know, even when I read this article or something along this line, heard about it, it didn't really, you know, sound, sound, you know, the alarm, but now it's like, wow, this, this is deep. Why would within a COVID-19 bill, this be passed? It's all connected family. That's all to it. <laughs> it's just all connected. The most high place to plague upon the earth. The most high is control of any entity or what not on the earth, which that includes what we call quote unquote UFOs. It's all hand in hand, according to this article, right? The provision received very little attention in part because it wasn't included in the text of 5,593 pages. Okay. Legislation. But as a committee comment attached to the annual intelligence authorization act, which was rolled in massive bill. So I have an account of that as well. So what they just said in the previous um, article that it was not included, like, you know, written up um, in that manner, but it was added as a comment. So let's check this out. So Intelligence Authorization Act of the fiscal year of 2021. So this was uh, sponsored by Rubio, Senator Rubio Marco. Okay. And um, Marco Rubio or Rubio Marco. Um, and I just want to take your attention down to this. Okay. So this is actually the bill. A bill. Okay. About what I just read in the previous article, but that is true. That portion is not included. So um, let's continue to go down and takes you through all the sections. Just want to show you that that was accurate with that person typed up there. But on this video that I'm going to show, it will show that it's included in their document. So I'm not sure how that is. Okay. So right here will be the close out, which is, uh, 513 cents of Congress third option foundation. That is the last, um, actual where right below that should be that, you know, area speaking about UFOs are the phenomenal, you know, but it's not. Okay. So let me see if anything else here. Okay. So that's just continue to go into the part that's going to break it down, but it should be right below 513, but it's not. Okay. Let's go somewhere else. Okay. So this is another um, part of it that is, um, it's actually says advanced aerial threats. So that's where the name should be below when we saw 513, the section there, it should be advanced aerial threats made like in a comment. Um, so this person was able to gather all the information and actually put it here. Um, on this website, and it says advanced aerial threats and report on U.S. Congress intelligence. And then that's the actual, the act right here, the authorization act for the fiscal year of 2021. So then this is all what was in this video that I'm going to show you shortly. Okay. All right. So I'll share this link and you all can check it out too as well. Okay, family, so I'm coming back um, with this. It actually is on YouTube and it says we might not be alone in the universe. So all this go hands in hand. Okay, so I'm going to play a bit of this. If I need to make a part two, I will. But just to give you an account that that um, below section 513 with a comment, it wasn't added in the document that Marco Rubio or whoever released it and placed it on the web. It wasn't in there, but let's see it here. The, the, what we call the UAP, uh, probably in the vernacular, it's better known as the UFO phenomenon. The bottom line here is that uh, over the past uh, several decades, we in the Department of Defense and the intelligence community have been noticing things in our airspace that don't have wings 
They don't have cockpits. They don't have even a, an obvious sign of propulsion like an engine, and yet still they're able to defy the natural effects of Earth's gravity. In 2020, the Pentagon declassified three videos, a Tic Tac video and two others filmed on the East Coast in January of 2015. Other countries have made similar public disclosures. Also in 2004, the Mexican Air Force confirmed this video was shot by one of their pilots near the coast of Baja, California. In 2014, the helicopter from the Chilean Navy locked onto an unidentified object emitting what appeared to be some sort of gas or vapor. Both governments have said they investigated but couldn't determine what the objects were. To those like science writer Sarah Scholes, clipped black and white videos always leave a lot to the imagination. To me, the most interesting thing about the videos is how little information is in them. All we have are these, you know, 30 seconds or a minute of something totally decontextualized. And so everybody kind of gets to think whatever they want to think about them because we don't actually have enough information to form any kind of conclusion, which is... UFO's favorite space to live in, the, the muddy, fuzzy space. But, but they do have so many, so many, so many hundreds, hundreds, thousands, thousands of information. And they want to use these little, uh, like, black and white photos or video footage of what they see in the sky when people actually have real deal, actual coloration of these different, you know, what you would call UFOs. So... It's just as though family, what I'm getting and understanding is actually, well, let me put it this way. What I'm getting and what I feel as though what's happening is here that um, they have been placed on notice. I believe that through the previous presidents, they had visitations. And I have an account of Abraham Lincoln saying he had visitations from what you know the people who were making the video call it aliens but ironically the visitations were in reference to us as descendants of slaves our slaves being you know far as not free but not under the you know um well, let me say this, not on the same land of their slave owners. We didn't get free in 1865. The yoke was loosened in 1865. We were sold over to another. Why the slave owners got paid off for releasing or letting or freeing, so they say the slaves. We just went into another system of slavery. But that was the countdown in so many ways are the leading way for us to move towards our redemption. So I'm not sure of all the ins and out, but this really, you know, would make so much, so much sense and logic, logic that of course, Trump, as someone from Israel said, a rabbi said that Trump had a visitation so-called from the aliens, but family, like I say, whenever they talk against something, talk down on something, and saying for you to run away from something, that's when you need to look at it totally different than they do. And all points back to us, descendants of slaves, and the ones who have been colonized in Africa and wherever those slave ships went, Jamaica, Bahamas, Cuba, Mexico, wherever it went. Let's continue. Will 2021 be the year all of that changes because of COVID-19? Hidden among the many people. I want to pause there. So just as he said, 2021 will be the year that all change because of COVID-19. This is not a coincidence, family. I'm just trying to open up, you know, our pathway and our mindset of what's to come. It's inevitable. Do I know every single detail, dot for dot? No, I don't. All I know is what has been shown to me and shared with me by what the most High have allowed me to see. And I've said that before. 
like right now, um, for all what, you know, I've experienced in certain things. I mean, I truly believe that the most high is guarding me, guarding, 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 <laughs> God, guarding me and not allow no one to come there. Cause they probably would have been, and they probably watch and they probably trying to figure this out. Whoever, if anyone saw the video, they're like, well, what's that? What's going on? She got contact with who, what, those, that, you know, anything. So I believe, like I say, I'm guarded by the most high. Hallelujah. Now in the corner here, you might can't see it now, but there's a, uh, when they actually go through the show, if I can show it, um, when they slide through the slides, you can see on the side say slave. Why is that there? But I'll show it once it comes through. So then I want to sh carry your attention to this report that they have now is the same report that I was on earlier that didn't have the area about the um, aerial phenomenon. OK, but it's on this report in this video. So they got some type of connection, but not on the one that was put it on um, the article or, you know, where I got it from earlier from off the web. So let's continue. Of the COVID-19 bill is this mandate to produce a report on unidentified aerial phenomena. What's different this time is that. So that's it right there. It's on this report. So I just wanted to show you all that. So let me just go back a little bit. It's 314. Okay, let's go back to 302. All of that changes because of COVID-19? Hidden among the many pages of the COVID-19 bill is this mandate to produce a report on unidentified aerial See, phenomena. What's different? It's on there. It's on their report. Okay, let's this continue. This time is that the military is kind of talking them about them very explicitly in terms of threats. It's not like the Pentagon's deal to call things aliens, but th that's kind of the angle they're coming from. If there is a foreign adversary, let's say Russian or China or anybody else, who happens to have this technology and they've had it for decades, and we in the United States have somehow been strategically leapfrogged in our technology, we've got a big problem on our hands. Officially, the clause attached to December's COVID-19 relief bill added by the Senate Intelligence Committee calls for the military and FBI to brief committee members on what they know about UAPs within 180 days of the bill's passing. The kind of top-level briefings Elizondo says he's given... Okay, let me back up this a little bit. 1357... Within 180 days of the bill's passing, the kind of top-level briefings okay. Elizondo see. says he's given before. The three options are, is it our technology, is it for an adversarial technology or someone else's technology, or is it something completely different? We're 99% sure it's not foreign adversarial technology, so that only leaves really one, one other option. It's, it's someone or something else. Are these three videos the only videos that you know of that the United States government has that shows unidentified aerial phenomena? No, absolutely not. These are probably some of the least compelling videos. In some cases, mm -hmm. you know, we, we've seen these things 50 feet away from it. Talking about something that is that is 50 feet away, I mean, uh, what can they tell from uh, being 50 feet away? With all I, I no longer work for the United States government in that capacity. So I want to be clear that I want to speak on behalf of the U.S. government. And I also want to give the government time to to uh, do what it needs to do regarding this data. But in so I'll share this link as well. OK, so as you see, they have a timeline to, you know, meet with the Congress or, you know, the, the ones that are on that uh, chair um, uh, as far as. Um, but I must say, family, they already met and a lot of things are being leaked out. OK, a lot of things are being leaked out. So this is one of the things that being leaked out. Now, when I saw this in a video, it said it was six. It was actually six uh, different like nuclear plants in America. But this report says it is 10. So let's take a look at this. OK, so fam, so it's speaking here that UFOs shut down 10 nuke missiles at U.S. base. OK, 
So um, this was shared in the, on the History Channel when I um, saw the information about Abraham Lincoln and they were just given, you know, as far as history about what happened. So they know that when they speak of, oh, could it be some outside source like Russia or China could have this? This was back in the 1940s and all the plants, all the nuclear, you know, places as far as, um, you know, as far as the missiles where they were, the, the whole area was shut down at the same time. OK, so let's let me look at one here. So as you see, as many different outlets are speaking on this. OK, so it's amazing how a lot of things that, you know, talked about in the uh, news. But once you go search it, like if a surface within me, I just look for it and then it's there. And it's like that's the pathway, like, you know, as if the most high is leading me to go on. Um, once it surface and, you know, I would have never thought to think of it before. So, so it speaks here that, you know, the government was hush up attacks say the U S air force captain that 10 U S nukes in silo. Okay. So, uh, I'm not sure if it's going to let me do this. Hold on. Okay. So this coming from, uh, the sun. Okay, so the UFO shut down 10 nuke missiles at U.S. base. Okay, so this is going back in the 1940s family. So it says allegedly shut down 10 un, um, I'm sorry, nuclear missiles in a bizarre incident at a U.S. military base. And the global phenomenon may have been triggered by the first atomic bomb test in the 1940s. It has been claimed. Okay, strange object in the skies are under the intense focus as the U.S. to release the intelligence report ordered by Congress. Okay, the issue after a flurry of leaked videos showing close encounter with the warships and fighter planes. So when I heard this in this video from the History Channel, well, on the History Channel, it was saying that there were soldiers outside of the nuclear plant, I want to say outside. And they noticed these like what they call um, saucers or um UFOs and then you know then that's when they experienced after that that all the sites but they were shut down at the same time my understanding was six but they're saying 10 and there's no way you know they saying that anyone could have done it they know and they blame it on the the UFOs all the way back then but you know like I said the most high is in complete control and no one um could tell me any different and my point in the matter is not trying to get anyone to side with me and say, oh, um, you want us to accept the if these aliens are ones or whatever comes on this earth. Well, family, you trust in the most high. If you trust in the most high, you believe that he's in complete control. Nothing will come around you only if he allow it. Nothing will get you or harm you only if you will allow it. This whole storyline about, oh, this fake storyline about, oh, they come in and they're going to play like or act like they are coming to save the world. But that was just uh, that's just a way to offset Jesus Christ. Um, and they're going to be like this, you know, you know, just all this stuff. Oh, they're the fallen angels or they this or they that family. No, we must, you know, like I said, seek the most high, trust the most high and get in the right path that we will not be judged. That we will not, you know, that the Most High will not let nothing get near us because this is real deal. But what my take on this is this all pointing towards the Most High. They're not want to never give the Most High any credit. So they're going to come up and say this is a, oh, this is a phenomenal. This is a UFO. This is that. This is this. But in actuality, it's pointing back to the Most High. Like they don't want to give us credit to who we are. Oh, they black. They're, you know, they're this, all the derogatory stuff they've said towards us as, you know, you know, us being on this earth as well. Anything that they claim that, um, they don't want to accept or acknowledge, they brings forth a negative condescending way about it. So at this point, I may lose some in this post because you may say, are you trying to get us to believe in something that we were taught not to believe? What I'm saying is you best to believe in the most high. 
whether you want to call yourself a Christian or you want to call yourself a Hebrew Israelite or you want to call yourself a Bantu. We must trust in the Most High because what is about to unveil and what is about to be disclosed on this earth by the Most High only. We can't forget this. If you believe in the storyline that they gave you, then you're going to be sitting in a corner. You're going to be shaken. You're going to be worried. You're going to be this. You're going to be that. Following all the fakes and the false and the people who's trying to profit off of one or the, you know, or another. When all in all, if we understand the most high is in control, then none of this will not even surface in a manner as they want it. Because our trust will be in the most high. Hallelujah. Glory. I pray y'all get my point here. So it says here that Gary Heston, Hestel Tyne, uh, a teen vice president of ICER, a new organization set up ahead of Pentagon report to call for a full disclosure and, 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 and end to stigma on the topic believes that UFO story starts with man's first nuke bomb test in 1990. I'm sorry, 1945. Okay. So this is, like I said, another part that, you know, they want to make it seem like what is what, but for that to happen at one time, it was supernatural. There's no other way around it. It was supernatural family. It was all supernatural. Okay. So, um, as it says here, these are um, when the all far as the nuke missiles at a U.S. base may have been what alerted to humanity by the first atomic bomb blast. But the whole thing was shut down at one time at the same time. I'm trying to see if they give an account here. So they're getting pushed in the corner, family. They're about to start, you know, speaking out on different things because this was something that they said that leak also. Let me give you an account of that. There, And I said, what in the world's going on with this? Bart Begley put it on the app. Go to the app. If you haven't got my app, get it. Because all on that clock, you get all of these. Every hour on that clock, you just click anywhere you want. You get another category. Like here's four. Okay. Boom hit four right there boom okay and that gives you the four horsemen of the apocalypse and all of the different news that are relative to that but also if you go at the top here where it says these three little dots there's three little dots up here three little dots just touch them it's hard to do guys just looking into a camera (laughs) okay a whole list comes down see that a whole list comes down down near the bottom it says videos okay click on the videos boom i have 54 videos on the app right now 54 of them what i want you to do is just go to about the middle go to the middle of it where it says june 21st in the middle june 21st 10 kings of revelation i just posted a 15 minute video it's unbelievable with with great graphics and scriptures and dice and the global phenomenon may have been triggered by the first atomic bomb test back in the 1940s that's the excuse objects in the sky are under intense focus as the u.s uh, releases the intelligence report ordered by congress on the issue after a flurry of leaked videos show close encounters of a third kind with warships and fighter so family that's an account that say that they're out there talking about this and so for if you follow um you know this actually youtube uh page you know that uh he's all for israel um 100 plus percent not looking at us as being the true people um which is fine they all will come to (laughs) understand that one day as the most high open that pathway Um, there are things I, you know, listen, you know, for him because he brings a lot of insights about things, of of course. Um, but you know, like they're out there speaking about this. Okay. So let me give you another account here. One moment, family. Okay. So family, I'm going to close out, but just wanted to 
share these articles here. Um, UFO could threaten the U.S. security. Lawmakers react to classify UFO briefings. So um, just give an account that some days back, I want to say last week, they met and um, some said that they were intrigued. Um, some, you know, of course, came out somewhat denying. Then some started talking in which that's how the speaking of the 10 different um, actual missile areas were was shut down all at the same time. Um, I wanted to find the one about the video about the article um, about um, Abraham Lincoln in the Civil War, which line up with the UFOs as well. I've shared that many times on uh, my page, um, YouTube, as far as talking about it. And I also did a video about it. So um, you're welcome to check that out. It's UFOs um, in Abraham Lincoln, uh, Abraham Lincoln in the Civil War. And that is um, also on the History Channel, and you can look that up as well and um, check that out. But it all ties back to saying that Abraham Lincoln um, said that he was visited. And then he also said that a spirit came upon him that uh, made him write out the Emancipation Proclamation. He also stated that um, there were spiritualists that approached him, that came to the White House to tell him that he needed to do that because they were received that message, like a messenger to give him that from the Almighty. Um, they didn't say aliens. They said, you know, from that was something that was divine. So again, anything that they say for us to run away from, we need to be asking the question why, and we need to understand because um, so many things that they've placed upon the earth to say run away from is actually is the best thing ever in so many ways and there's a reason why they're saying so so why would they say that okay so that's the question we should ask be asking why would anyone go against whatever and make a fuss or stink about it um and knowing that um it's just the opposite from facts but they try to lay out the negative of anything far as their opinion in that manner. So I just wanted to touch bases on this. I felt a need to share this on this morning. Um, so uh, please feel free. I'll share the links that you can review this more in full, you know, at a later time. Take care, family. Praise us all to the most high. Yah. Hallelujah. And get to family. <laughs>